Hello, hello, Crafty Besties. It's your Crafty Bestie, Tabitha. I'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit, so bear with me. Thanks. Now, I just wanted to show you a couple different things. I'm going to show you this first, because this is my first foray into making a journal out of a little golden book. And this was the pokey little puppy. And this is what I did with it. <laughs> and then if you dig out all the little pages out of this little front pocket, there's a frame that says this little golden book belongs to. So the person who I have chosen to gift this to can put their name in it. And they had said something about they needed a password diary for work. A password diary. It's, you know, where you store your passwords. Well, see, there's a little cute place to put a little hidden password. And you can write other things here. And then I put these in here. They're fun little, you know, your circumstances. You are not your circumstances. You are your possibilities. Oprah said that. Then you can put your passwords on the back. And then pages to uh, write on. And this, these pages came out of this day book. And the date that I found in here was 1901. I bought this from one of my junk journaling groups. Look at this beautiful script writing. I love when people could write in cursive. So amazing. That's their account books. And these are the pages. And yes, I used the authentic pages in here. Because this is a very special person. So this is a very special book. So in the comments, let me know what you think. Because I did use a mix of printables. And a mix of things that I just created from other things but these pages and these are stickers that I got off Amazon or they were gifted to me I can't remember which and you know pages from the book and I did include some of this yummy cursive writing in this journal because you can write in between you know or you can leave it and just enjoy all the things that are written here and more little places because your passwords change so you need places that you can write them and stick a page in there and these were coffee dyed by me all the coffee dyed pages in here i coffee dyed them myself and i love the patterns and how they turned out i just think that's so awesome lots more little pages some fun washi stickers I stuck on the ledger paper. <laughs> Some things that bring me joy. And then here's one that they can write on. This is a hidden paper clip. So I put that there so they can put things in and out there. Top secret. That's what our passwords are. They're top secret. I'll just put those there so she'll know that that's a paper clip, maybe. Maybe I'll find some more of those and stick in there. Oh, I got some more. Look. Look at me. I have some more of these. These are so much fun. And they're the perfect little size for journaling spots. I gave her some more of those. And this is a little pocket with the frog. And these are some, these were from a swap that I did. Just bookmarks. But you can write on the back of the bookmarks, whatever you'd like. And this is a tag that I made. That's part of a book spine. And that's some scrapbooking paper and some washi tape. Coffee dyed paper. All on some cardboard. There's some more of that beautiful paper and the coffee dyed paper. Here's a little envelope pocket. 
Life happens. Coffee helps. You guys know. And this is... I got this in Happy Mail, and I just thought it was too cool not to share. So I'm sharing that in a little tuck space. And this is another one of those little spots. Gorgeous handwriting. And here's the back of the book. And I included a piece of the paper that didn't make it into this because I think I used a spine that wasn't wide enough. But that's the journal that I made from a little golden book. And this is a product that I'm going to review. I don't know what you guys think about those photo printers that are like little sticker printers. But I had wanted one for a long time. And this is the Canon Ivy. It did not come in this case. I purchased the case extra because I need a hard case because I tend to break things. But I did get it in the color that I love. And here is the USB cord to charge it. And here are the little pages that go in it. It comes with 10 of the little sticker pages. I can't demonstrate it because I actually film my videos with my phone. But this is a sticker of me and my mother-in-law at her house. You guys can see this, right? She's so adorable. But the stick is quite good on the sticker. I put it on one of my journaling cards. This goes in my Alice journal. But I love my Devana. She's precious. And I love her. But I wanted to let you guys know that I got this from Amazon. And it's, you know, fits in the palm of your hand, so it's portable, so I can take it places, and I can print out sticker pages, and you don't have to peel the back off and make them a sticker. You can use them as a regular photo. It's about a wallet size photo, but I really love real pictures, and I like being able to make them. They have different frames. You can put different frames on the picture. This is just one example, and the rest are... um just for me um but yeah I wanted to I would give it a five out of five stars also the case I would also give the case a five out of five stars especially if you love to just go and randomly take pictures and then print out what you did and put it in your journals I'm not going to show you all the pictures that I made because it's too many for a video and then I want to show you guys something else that I have discovered this week because I watch other people's videos, and I watch them draw doodles and color them and cut them out. And I thought, well, I'm not really good at drawing, and I'm really not. But I think that these little pictures that I drew on book page and then colored with crayons and traced with micron pens, I think they turned out so fun. And they will make really cute embellishments on tags and pockets and whatnot. And it really is just as simple as making a little sketch of a flower or something and then cutting it out. And I thought, well, I'm not artsy enough to do that. And then I just started doodling because somebody was, you know, my life in customer service. And my life in customer service is fun. Um... <laughs> Um, and you talk to all kinds of people. Some people are so wonderful. And most of my days are filled with really kind people who are just having a problem with the thing that they're calling me about. That's why they need service. It's customer service. And I really do lead from the heart. And I really do try to do everything that I can to help everybody that I can. Um... So, sometimes when I'm getting a little stressed, I will doodle. So, I decided this week to doodle on book page, and I had a customer that was, he was a little excited about life, and um, he was having a rough day, and instead of getting angry, I started doodling while I was listening, because it helps me focus more on what they're saying, and really trying to hear their heart, as well as giving them mine, and... He was just livid. So I listened. And I let him rant. 
and then when it was all said and done and I gave him exactly what he wanted he was still not ready to stop being mad so I decided he was one of those people because sometimes there's just people in life now don't mind me I'm going to kind of tear that off so it's easier to cut I just decided that he was one of those people that no matter what you do for them they're not going to be happy so some people aren't happy but that was one phone call that was 15 minutes out of a 40 hour week so not too bad not too bad of a week if you ask me um, and while I was listening and focusing on what he really needed and was able to do that for him I was also able to create myself something fun to work with and journal with so in the comments below tell me how was your week what are you struggling with this week and if you're wondering about the Canon Ivy because I think it's a good product review I think it's a really good product battery life is good it's very portable totally go buy one because right now on Amazon they're 40% off or they were the other day when I ordered mine and I was so happy to get it so I hope you're having a good week let me know in the comments if I can pray for you somehow tell me that in the comments too because I want you to know I really care and just talk to me tell me you came by tell me you watched this it'll encourage me because sometimes I just wonder if you know if it matters to anybody else I mean I love doing my videos I'll still do them whether y'all like them or not but I would really like to hear if you are have a conversation with me and uh, let's play together let's make some fun journals together let's make some fun things like this is um, a mini journal that I had printed out around Christmas time horses and roses and I'm thinking about other things to put with it it's like a mini journal I might just bind it and just clip this in somewhere because I think that is a pretty cool bingo pocket thing looking I don't know I like it and uh, I love horses and it kind of brings me joy just to look at it even though it's not cut out perfectly I was going to embellish it and do things and that was already printed on there send me some suggestions should I punch the holes in it and bind it that way I don't know I really don't know what to do with this but I love it and it makes me happy so I keep it over here so yeah there's a lot of stuff in junk journaling that you can do there's a lot of stuff just in journaling in general that you can do so come play with me and tell me what you're playing with today remember you are loved you matter and you are enough.